we're just going to have a quick look at this motor then. Uh, it's an HSM8378, but before I really get started with the video, can I just point out that the rated voltage is DC 220 to 240 volts, so this is most definitely not the sort of motor for a student project. And incidentally, anything that I mentioned in this video is uh, not with any authority whatsoever. So whatever you do is your, at your own risk. If you're one of my students, don't do it. Okay, so having got that out of the way, let me just quickly introduce you to the motor. I have posted a video about it before, and it's from a treadmill. And so with a, a treadmill motor, you are going to expect to be able to operate it from very slow speeds up to quite fast. Now, I can't remember the uh, speed exactly, but I think that I've done some calculations on this before, and I predicted something like about 3,000 or possibly a little bit over RPM. Now that's relatively high if you're going to use it in a machine tool. Of course it does depend on what machine tool, but if you're using this to drive say an, an old or an antique lathe or say a power hacksaw or something like that, then it's just probably not going to be appropriate unless you've got lots of speed reduction in the counter shaft. Now I've seen these motors for sale on eBay and they don't have this, let's call it a flywheel. They don't have that flywheel on um, and consequently they also don't have that pressed steel fan there. Now my guess is that they are all getting shipped with this flywheel with the fan on because if they don't didn't have that then they wouldn't be ensuring a, three, a throughput of, of air there for cooling. However of course I've no way of actually knowing that but the ones I've seen for sale that are new that are coming from China uh, as far as I can see they're all coming with these. So if it's not if it's being sold like on a on some supposedly um, UK based uh, eBay seller without that and they've just say put uh, a new uh, pulley on there then likelihood is they've probably just pulled that off and uh, not bothered about the fan because they're not really bothered are they let's be honest it's eBay. Um, okay so let's just have a quick look at the end so if you wanted to pull that off I think I've had that screw out before but I've never actually had the flywheel off so pop that screw out you can see that there's a key in there as well so presumably with a little bit of pulling and shoving you'd actually get that off uh, the reason why I haven't used this motor I've, I've played around with it um, but I haven't actually used it for anything mostly because of the RPM just too high but also the supply is inconvenient now you'll notice hopefully uh, you can see there, 220 to 240 volts. There seems to be a variant which looks very similar, but not the same because it's it says 180. Now whether they just they've got the same motor and they just badge it, I I really no idea. Okay, but let's assume that this is actually meant for 220 to 240 volts DC. Of course, uh, that becomes quite inconvenient because UK supply is of course uh, well let's say 240 volts. So let's have a quick look around the motor just in case anyone just wanted to see like the motor and didn't want any of the talk. Uh, by the way, the earthing strap, um, ignore that. That's mine. You may or may not agree with having earthing on there. There's various reasons why you might or might not want it. Uh, looks like the um, that flywheel is balanced because it's got those drilled holes. It's a poly V pulley. I, I haven't measured it, so I don't know exactly uh, what it is. Um, this one has this foot mounting which is permanently welded on. I think I've seen some which are like face mounted or something, possibly face mounted. Actually I'm not sure I have now thinking about it but um, it's brushed. I don't think I've ever looked at the brushes on this. That's it. Uh hope that's useful for someone who might be considering one of these HSM 8378 motors. Okay that's it. Thanks for watching.